Hi there. Happy New Year. Just gonna scuttle past all the excuses and go straight into it. Uh, where we left off last time with the E10,000 project was my SSP that had croaked. Uh, or rather, that's where I left off. I um, went over at one of the twaddle videos, but I've been meaning to buy a UPS for however long. Um, power is usually pretty stable out here, even though I live in the sticks. But we'd had a horrendous spring storm and power flipped out and my SSP would no longer come back up. So I've let it sit for most of the year and in the last month I've started messing around with it. Um, we're just going to skip any kind of uh, dramatic reenactment and what I've done so far is I've stripped the machine down so no quad fast deep in it, pulled the discs out, unplugged the hard disk, I've even pulled all the RAM out. Symptom is when the machine powers on uh, Everything sounds normal. I get what sounds like a post boot beep and um, everything spins up, but no video. So something's either killing it during post, after post, or the graphics uh, subsystem, which is actually mounted on the main board in the Ultra 5s, has fragged, which would be annoying, but we could live with it. What I realized was um, I've made a whole bunch of progress on the ETMK over the last year, uh, 2018, and um, actually be 2017. Oh, good lord. No excuses. Um, and I've made all sorts of modifications to the configs and stuff on disk, but it's been quite a while since I did a backup. And so I went, well, you know. I've said it before, I'll say it again, power machines on and off and on and off to try and repair them drives me crazy because you know something's going to die. Um, time to back up that disc. So I pulled it out and I popped it into a Dell machine. Uh, the same machine that I used to back up the Cray discs actually, so it's got the Adaptix SCSI controller in it. The Ultra 5 has an IDE disc and it's got a standard VGA port on the back. It's sort of a halfway meandering machine from some and the Dell machine wouldn't come up. And sometimes it would pass post, and then sometimes when it was booting to Linux, it would uh, seg fault the kernel, and I'm like, well, how is the disk bad? Is the controller on the disk so hosed that it's killing the machine? And, you know, this has something to do with this, or maybe the machine killed the controller. And then I kind of came back to my senses and went, what's the likelihood of that? And uh, discovered that the uh, RAM in the Dell was bad. Uh, thanks, Memtest 86 Plus. So, more RAM from eBay, uh, meme testing it clear, booting the machine up and getting a good disk image of it. So, all of my data is backed up again. Back to the Ultra 5. The next step is to figure out where it's getting stuck. And without video, obviously, our um, vector into that information is serial port and I'd done a bit of faffing about, and I think one of my serial cables had gone bad. And at the time I wasn't sure if maybe it was so badly screwed up, the sun that is, that it wasn't putting anything out to serial either. So I found the cable that I ran the 6800 from with the null modem block on that. I know that's a good cable and a good null modem block. Uh, and we'll hook it up to one of the laptops and bring up Minicom and we'll see what we can see and hopefully get a clue as to what might be smoked. Alrighty, so I have uh, my laptop hooked up to the bigger screen. I'm not even going to put it, bother putting the screen on the Ultra 5 because I know it's not going to come up. I have keyboard and mouse disconnected so I will have serial console control. So all that is there is to verify we are 9600 BPS 18 one and give her some juice. Oh, hey, okay, good. So I know my NVRAM is fragged, so that's not an issue. Ooh, oh, yep, okay, that's not good. Red state exception. So I've heard about this before, and there are three options. Um, usually it's RAM based, but I know it's not RAM because I have removed all of the RAM in this machine and it's still never come up. Um, it could be the CPU, which is the second most likely option, or it could be the main board, 
which would be unfortunate. Uh, well, since I do have some RAM in it still, let me pop the RAM out of it and we will try again and be absolutely certain it's not the RAM and then I can stick a different CPU in it because I do have some spare parts. Stay right there. Let's just clear our screen. Where the hell see? Okay. Uh, and I have removed all the RAM. So. Okie dokes. So, definitely not RAM. So it's either the CPU or the main board. Let's switch out the CPU. We have the guts of our Ultra 5. Uh, CPU, you can see there's no RAM. Hard disk is present. CD-ROM driver is present, but both are unplugged. The quad fast ethernet card, which would go here, is removed. What I did is, um, in suspicion that I might have more hardware issues and um, because I found somebody who was selling things for a reasonably good price. I bought some spare parts for the Ultra 5 Series machines. So, I have a CPU I can switch in. Uh, I am static strapped. And uh, removing the CPU is as easy as loosening the locking bar while holding the standoff that's below it, which is rotating. Locking bar comes up. Rotate my standard back in here. There's a clip on the back which you pull to release, and then the CPU can be gently rocked out, supposedly. Oh, yeah, there she goes. A bit of movement. Oh, yeah. Re grab with that rear clip. Come on, come on, baby. There it goes. Okay. Oh. Old CPU, and we'll pop in our replacement, which is um, a slightly faster CPU. This should be a 333, I think, or a 360, and I think that's a 270. But it's been a while since I've had this running, I don't remember off the top of my head. We line the connectors back up, there it goes. There we go, and I'm not going to bother putting the locking bar back on because if the CPU isn't at fault, um, I'm just going to have to take everything out anyway. So, uh, let's plug her back in. Alrighty, uh, and whenever my camera decides to refocus, let's see what we get here. Three sixty megahertz. Hasn't got any, uh, uh, all right, there we go. So, main board is not healthy, so I guess we get to do a little bit main board surgery. Great. Okay, dokes, so I'm gonna remove the CPU first and um, pull it out the, get the cables out of the way, get the bulkhead out of the way, and then pull the main board out. So what do we do? Uh, clip, lift, Our new main board, pre-populated with RAM. Well, how do we do this? That guy goes in here first. And then...
Okay. Oh. Do this. So I'm going to stop here, and I'm not going to bother putting in the uh, center plane yet. And let's see if it actually comes up to prom, which is it is the main board, the CPU and the RAM combo is good. Oh, I need an NV RAM. Okay, cross fingers. That's a good sign. Booyah! All right, I will finish reassembling the machine. Okay, so. Okay, now let's see if the damn thing comes up again. Alrighty, so I have the laptop back on its own screen and it's still connected via serial. I have the Dell monitor connected to the video port on the Ultra 5. I've got my keyboard plugged in. I have on the theory that now I've got this thing working, I'm not going to want to power it off again. I have it on my uh, new 1500 volt amp trip light UPS. So, Come on, sweetheart. Booyah! Oh, it's, uh, oh, not show IDE? No. Um, It's probably at disk zero. Fizz gig. Uh, unless I got the disks switched around. Huh. Okay. Whatever. See on my serial screen here, ID disk, CD-ROM, PCI, and all four ports of the QFE came up, which is good. Ah, because I have it in the wrong place. Okay, so let me switch around the cabling on this guy. Okay. I had a funny feeling I had those guys backwards. Show this. 
could have sworn. Aha! <laughs> Cute. Okay. We should get a little bit better luck this time. Well, that was a hell of a lot of faffing around to get straight back to where we were 12, 18 months ago. But, I now have a working SSP on a UPS, which means that it'll just sit. I'll put the case back on and button it back up and we'll be done. And then we can move on to... 18K back there behind you, by the way. More system boards, I guess. More CPUs, more RAM. Let's go for it. Thank you very much for your patience, and if you have been, thank you for watching. See you next time.